uh, bothers me. It does. It really does. It bothers me when young people can't play. Um, man, it's really disruptive. Uh, as good as Baycott is, you know, I'm thinking that Coach Davis is going to insert him after the first media just to get his feet on the ground. I don't know. Um, but, you know, I wish Armando, uh, who, you know, obviously we all have great admiration for, I uh, hope he uh, recovers quickly and he's back uh, back in uniform uh, for them. But they still have good players. Uh, last time I checked, Caleb Love and R.J. Davis had won a lot of ball games there. Uh, Nance is, uh, is a very good player. Leaky Black is terrific. Um, Coach Davis played Leaky on uh, on Padula, uh, which I th kind of thought he uh, may. Such he is an elite defensive player uh, and very disruptive. And our point guards traditionally are involved in a lot of things, a lot of ball reversals, this and that. And doggone Leaky, uh, uh, you know he uh, he gobbles that stuff up and makes it uh, makes it awfully hard. But um, Pleased to have uh, pleased to have won, and we move uh, we move along. Mike to out rebound them by fourteen and only allow yeah. four offensive yeah. boards. I'm not sure that that's happened. Uh, you know, Armando just he's just such a big man. Um, but you know, we harped on it, we harped on it, we harped on it, and you know, certainly losing Baycott uh, is uh, is hurtful for uh, for them and that part of the game and now you're trying to play puff um, extended minutes Tyler Nichol I thought did very well for them um, but not as good a rebounding North Carolina team needless to say without uh, Armando. Mike, Mike you talked a lot last year about the idea of connectedness defensively and offensively in the first half or maybe the first 30 minutes. Very feel, good. Yeah. How very good. good. Um, you know we seem like get to hes hesitant tentative um, and let's give credit where credit's due, Mike. You know, those guys, they got pretty good players. <laughs> they, they, those guys uh, have seen a lot of defenses and a lot of, you know, how we were guarding them. And they uh, hesitated a little bit more. And RJ and Caleb got uh, got downhill. And Nance hit a big three over opposite their uh, their bench. Um, you know, we're uh, we were better today through bigger portions of that uh, game, but something. You know, needless to say that we got to continue to shore up as we move along. Mike, um, MJ Collins had eight rebounds, mm -hmm. second leading rebounder. How important was that for your team? Well, Sam, the eight rebounds is significant, five offensive. The three right in front of me uh, was enormous. I forget the situation. I think we were up four. It was a big shot. And then the kid, you know, from uh, uh, the sprawling metropolis of Clover, South Carolina, bangs two foul shots to, uh, to you know, to uh, help us. Um, he's going to be a really, really good player. Like most freshmen, he's had some choppy moments. Um, he's helping us. Uh, I thought he was much improved defensively tonight. Um, just his awareness is getting so much better as we uh, go along. That stands to reasons. The more plays they see, the more comfortable they are and grabbing it. I got it. Got it. Uh, and he's uh, he's doing that you know, more and more consistently. How impressive was it to see him do that in his first ACC game? Well, I pretty doggone impressive, Sam. I'd have to agree with you. Mike, you mentioned Leakey. You held him to two points uh, on the game. Overall, how did you feel about the way the defense played as a whole? Uh, I think, like Mike said, Paul, first 30 minutes, good, connected. Ball screen defense was uh, was very good. It better be with uh, Love and Davis. Um, we were we we were we were grabbing uh, the first uh, miss, um, uh, but uh, I thought we got I thought we got back on our heels a little bit. I may have got back on my heels a little bit offensively and stopped um, giving them things. I wanted to take some of the ball handling out. They were amping up uh, their pressure. So I would have to thank Paul, and I'll go back and look at it. Uh, probably some of that is on me. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll make it right. We'll get it, we'll get it better. Early December date, duly noted. But is it a big afternoon for Virginia Tech men's and women's basketball? Oh, how about, when how about, yeah. They go to Thompson Bowling and win. And you beat North Carolina at home. 
The only thing that uh, the only thing that um, Kelly Harper is a, a very good friend of mine. Kelly Harper was at Western Carolina when I was at Wofford, and I think the world of her and. She's doing a great job uh, there, but for Coach Brooks to take uh, our team into Thompson Bowling and the history and everything uh, of that uh, building in terms of women's athletics and women's basketball, it's a huge win for uh, them. I'm so proud of uh, their team and look forward to congratulating them tomorrow when they uh, return. Um, you know, we needed to win, David, uh, and knew that it was going to be uh, hard. It was, but... Um, Good to get uh, to eight and one. Good to get one and zero in the league. We go on the road for a couple uh, in league, uh, but a, a really good Dayton team coming in on uh, on Wednesday, and we uh, talked about that momentarily. Mike, you had not uh, been thrilled with how your team had been playing on offense of late. What did what did, did you like about your team's play on offense today? Shooting pretty well. Uh, we we were better. Um, Maddox is a terrific player, and I can't get him unglued. Um, um, and he's, he's trying, he's working really, really hard, but he's such a dynamic scorer and cutter. Um, we'll figure it out. I thought, uh, Sean, man, that kid's aggressive, uh, sometimes to my detriment. Um, but I'm not going to slow him down. You know, he's proven to us that, uh, that he, can, he can do it, and I think he's got to have the rope to, to play the game. Mutz was special. Mutz was the best player on the floor today. Uh, I don't think anyone could argue that um, he was uh, he was. I thought we were I thought we were better, Mark. But we we're we're going to we're going to get better there uh, as well. Um, we needed today. We needed the Tar Heels, someone of that ilk, uh, to um, you know uh, play and um, that heightened sense of awareness and uh, you know uh, the, the embracing the grit and the grime that goes along with winning games of this nature. Um, you know, a good day for a uh, good day for the Hokies, good day for Hokie athletics. The lead gets down at three points with three minutes to go. What did you like about your team's play down the stretch? Then? You know what? They didn't blink. Uh, I think coach Davis called timeout. Uh, I thought our press break was good. We kicked one down there, almost had a 10 second call. But from that point on, when it did get to three, uh, we, you know, we, uh, we, we sat down and did the things we were supposed to do. We had the couple of actions on to get it inbounds to Padula. We liked having the ball for obvious reasons. Um, you know, a level of toughness and a level, level of uh, resolve when, you know, the heat's on a little bit. And, uh, and they, they, uh, they withstood it. They uh, did a nice job with it. Anthony. Mike Hutter hit big shots early. Justin hit big shots yeah. late. How much did their big game experience come into play in a game like this, especially, as Mark just said, when it gets close at the end? There's no substitute, and they've been in so many big games, Anthony, as you know. Um, they've done it, and they've done it, <coughs> pardon me, at a high level. Um, you know, just such great comfort with, uh, with, with old people. Um, and uh, certainly those, uh, those two guys, they were, they were great. I thought, I thought Hunter... Um, it was not guarding love, and some of those would love have. Um, I thought Hunter did did a uh, did a good job on him. We got caught in a couple of coverages that allowed Caleb to get uh, get downhill. But um, I love those two men. They're great players, and they are they are great Hokies. Mark asked you about the offense. You got 16 assists. Yeah. On your 32 made buckets. Yeah. We, David and I had a fan sitting behind us who. Wanted your guys to shoot it earlier in the possession, but they were pretty unselfish. You should, making the extra should have told that guy to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try not to engage. but uh, Thank you. Thank you. But uh, what did you like from the unselfishness? And is that a characteristic of maybe some of the older guys? Yeah. Have? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, to share, uh, to pass the ball to a, an open teammate, make an extra pass, turning down a good shot for a great shot. If I say it once, I say it, you know, i thousand times uh, each uh, each year um, that's kind of who we are and what is embraced and and if someone is turned down they hear about it not for me but you know we don't do that here um, uh, uh, we were sixth in the country coming in and assist turnover ratio we've been under 10 uh, uh, as an average I believe um, 16 assist is uh, is good uh, 
Mutz is just such a great passer. The five turnovers you know, was the first thing he said to me in the locker room afterwards. Um, he'll get uh, he'll get better there. Yeah. I'm sure it's not going. I'm sure certainly not going to take him out of the game. Mike, uh, Justin, talking about him a little more. I mean, he kind of took over this game. He did. Similar to what we saw from Charles Charleston Southern about a week and a half ago. Where does that ability come from? in these kind of big games or in these tight games to kind of take control himself. He's been there. He's done it. The guy's played nine years of college basketball. <laughs> he's seen some plays now. Um, but he's a terrific ball handler. He's a great passer. Um, you know, I mean, he's uh, he's quite comfortable. That is the luxury of having older people. And um, uh, he's, a, uh, he's a dandy. And I can't begin to tell you how much I – have enjoyed coaching him and to have the opportunity to coach him for, you know, three, um, four months more uh, is is a mountaintop experience. And with, you know, a, a talented Dayton team coming in yeah, on Wednesday, man. How, do you, how do you pivot off a big win like this to keep Well, we better. Uh, that was the worst five-point beating I've ever had last year uh, in uh, Flyer Arena, and they've got much the same cast back. I haven't seen any of them. Um, Really think of the world of Anthony Grant, know him well. Uh, Holmes in the post, Elvis and others in the backcourt. Uh, it'll be a good ball game. Uh, they're they're really good, and we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to be on top of our game. Anybody else? Hey, good to see everybody. Merry Christmas. Good to have you in town. Good to have you in town, Mike.